Morning, everybody, and welcome to today's morning market. So today I'm going to focus in on the German retail sales figures. So they actually saw a drop of minus 1.2%. But most importantly, what is our take on this? Okay, so let's dive into the details. So as I said before, German retail sales fell by minus 1.2%. So that compares to expectations of an increase of half a percent. And if we compare that to the previous month, the previous one was basically flat. So it's basically zero. If we look at what does that mean overall, that's the biggest drop that we've seen since December 2022. And actually, if we look at the figure for year on year for August, now that is a drop of minus 2.2%. But let's dig a little bit into the individual details. So let's look at the components that make up retail sales. So just looking at the data, food fell by minus 1.2%. Non-food was down by around about 0.7%. Sales via internet and mail order were down the most. So they were down minus 8.7%. But what's our take on this? Now, what you're seeing is that excluding services and cars, the more consumer spending areas are starting to see a slowdown. What you're seeing is that higher interest rates are starting to take an effect on how consumers are spending overall. What is quite interesting, though, is actually what you've seen in Germany is you've seen inflation come down. So we obviously saw that yesterday with the German inflation figures. And you've also seen higher real wages, and that's not necessarily factoring in into consumer spending patterns overall. And then from me, finally, how did asset markets react? Actually, it's been a pretty tough week and actually a tough month for equity markets, but I'm pleased to say that equity markets were generally up yesterday. So the US led the way. The S&P 500 finished up 0.6%, and that was really led by the energy names in there. So I'm sure you'll all know, if you're a regular viewer of morning markets, just the significant increases that we've seen in the oil price over the previous months, and that factored into yesterday's sectoral moves within equity. Within fixed income, 10-year uh, gilt yields were up around about 0.12%. And that's really a focus around the fact that the higher oil price could potentially lead into inflation, which could potentially lead into interest rates remaining higher for longer. That's everything from me. Please have a great weekend, whatever your plans are. But before I go, I'd just like to plug our podcast, which will be released today. And it will have information on how you can invest after retirement. That's everything for me. Thank you very much. <music>